Yo guys, what is up? Scammer Revolts here, and t in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys basically how to um, scam bait slash expose a tech support scammer. And I'm not going to show you guys really how to record. Um, I mean, really, just download OBS, and it's pretty. You can just kind of go through it and see from there. But I've been getting lots of questions. Oh, um, how do you get pop-ups? Oh, how do you make a virtual machine? Do you use a VPN? Uh, how do you call the scammers i get so many questions like this so i just decided why not make a whole video actually talking about everything so i can kind of just answer all those questions and uh so if anyone ever asked me again i could just forward them to this video but so i have a little list here of, of stuff basically the basics that you're gonna need so you are gonna need a, an okay computer for this you know a core 2 duo would be fine um, not for recording, but if you just want to expose can scammers, uh, Core 2 Duo should be okay, but it's not going to be the best for the virtual machine. Maybe Windows XP should be what you're going to go with, or if you're going to go with Windows 7, go with Windows 7 Lite. And also you're going to need a around 6 gigs of RAM, I think, should be the minimum, and you should have around 2 on the virtual machine. Um, for tech support scammers, so they do like to open up a lot of stuff sometimes and it could lag out the machine but then again if you have a little bit of ram um it kind of makes it more believable to them and kind of makes them think that yeah you really have a crappy system so the first thing on my list here is a virtual machine of course you're going to need a virtual machine for a tech support scammer so a long time ago uh, you see all the way back in december 21st of 2016 i made this to still prevalent today it's a uh, the exact same thing so in this tutorial it's using VirtualBox um, in my videos personally I use VMware but I did use to use VirtualBox VirtualBox is fine um, I just decided to switch over to VMware but so I have a full written tutorial on here I also have a video tutorial so if you click there on that uh, page which this will all be linked in the description below but if you click on that page I have this video so many people don't even know I have this video but this video is here so I'll have the link to the website link and then if you want to go to the video you just click the link I just clicked uh, but if we go back to the website link you can see here um, I got the full rent tutorial with pictures exactly what you need to do this shows you everything RAM I tell you recommended RAM um, storage how to turn it on how to actually install it and everything so it's a full tutorial you shouldn't have any issues with this but if you do have an issue like I said click this it'll bring you to the video tutorial and through this I it go through installing the same exact operating system as I did on the website so it's gonna be pretty much the same but in video so if you guys are um, if you're just better with learning off of video tutorials than written tutorials it's up to you but there you go that's all be in the description below now second is a VPN. Now I really recommend this because scammers, they're pretty dumb. Yes, they are dumb, but they can still find your location, your VPN, and if they do have your v your IP, they could give it to people that aren't dumb, um, people that might try to DDoS you or something like that. So you definitely don't want that. So I, so yeah, I recommend CyberGhost. Um, it's a pretty good VPN. I've been using it for a long time now. It's very good. Um, it's not free anymore. But you can still get the free trial. Uh, it's it's a very good VPN. You know, it's it's a very very good VPN. <laughs> but yeah, um, I also have Hotspot Shield, which is uh, it's pretty much popular because uh, a lot of students at schools would use this to get their internet unblocked. Um, it's a good VPN. It's uh, it's yeah, it's a good VPN. I don't I don't know. It's I I don't really use it. Uh, Personally, but um, for free VPN, um, uh, at least it is free on phones. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty good VPN. So if we go to the next thing on our list, let's pull this over here. We have links. Now, what I mean by links is people ask me, how do I get the actual pop-ups? Um, because as you guys know, I pretty much specialize in doing pop-ups. I never do... Um, cold calls really um, or anything like that because with the pop-up it's just a lot more evidence and everything and it's just kind of my specialty I guess you could say but yeah um, 
so there's plenty of, of, of links you can go to. I can't put these in the description because YouTube will think that I'm spreading a virus. And it's happened in the past, so I can't put these links in the description, but you can follow me on screen right now. So there's a couple of them I have. The first one is GG Mail. So it's just Gmail, but with an extra G on it. Basically, these are all just misspelled words. So if we press enter on that, it's going to load, and immediately it brings me to an ad. And I guess one of these ads are Amazon. And basically what all these links do is they go through ads. And what scammers do is they put their pop-up page in the ad. So it like it cycles through the ads and it lands onto a scammer pop-up. So if we try Gmail, this one will most likely get a pop-up right now. But if we go gmil.com and go to enter on that, there you go, pop-up. Just like that. I've called this one before. Um, but yeah, pretty uh, nasty one too at that. So... Let's just close this through the task manager real quick. And let me show you guys a couple more. But you should also try, if you're not getting a pop-up, try different browsers like Internet Explorer. If you're not getting any in Chrome, go to Internet Explorer. If you're not getting any in Internet Explorer, go to Firefox. Just try different browsers and keep going through these links. Um, YouTube.com is also a good one. Uh, this one's just bringing me the home page of the ad site. Um, see it's just a bunch of advertisements and stuff and there's also ttwitter.com now these are the only really ones I use because they all are pretty good at getting pop-ups like this one Realtor it's just another ad uh, that comes up yeah so it's basically just cycling through ads it's nothing crazy um, but yeah that's pretty much how you get scammer pop-ups number one thing don't do this on your real computer because when you do go on a pop-up, it could download something in the background. It could change settings in your browser. It could set set the home page to the pop-up. So every time you open your browser, it's going to go directly to the pop-up and you're stuck like that. And then you might have to uh, clear the data on your browser or uninstall the browser entirely. So it's really important that you guys don't do this on your actual computer and do it in a virtual machine. I, unless it's a computer that you're just trashing and you don't really care about it at all, then you could do it on a real computer because I guess that doesn't really matter. But make sure none of your stuff is logged in, nothing they can steal or anything like that. Now, next on my list, um, VOIP or Voice Over IP or Internet Protocol, uh, VoIP software or an internet phone. So I use Hangouts, Google Hangouts. Uh, I know I have people that are in the United States. I'm pretty sure there's some places maybe outside of the United States that you can use Hangouts for, but not very many. Now, there is also Fire RTC, but I, that'd be a last resort for me. Um, I use Hangouts because it works. I have a callback number to seem actually legitimate. I could set my location. I could choose pretty much a house where I'm at. So when they ask for all this information, I can give it to them as if I'm a real customer and it just makes um, them believe me more so as people are looking at the video they're actually seeing what the scammer is doing when they think that I'm a real customer and it kind of embells, embells more of what an, an actual person being scammed would experience. Um, but yeah, FireRTC, I mean I've used it in the past, I think it's FireRTC.com um, no, there it is. Yeah, FireRTC.com. Um, I've used it in the past. I, it, it didn't work really at all for me. I couldn't get any numbers to dial. It was just really glitchy. I mean, it's been around a couple of months since they have done that, so maybe they've updated and added it, but I'm just not going to take a chance for it because I can end up losing this scammer or something or just pretty much having my whole video ruined because a call drops or a call just won't go through and with hangouts it always works and it's always there when i need it. it's very reliable but if you can't use hangouts i guess you could try fire rtt if it works for you then great but it just hasn't worked out for me personally um but yeah that's pretty much it so um you can also join our discord for numbers um, I'll have the Discord link in the description below. Uh, you can see right here we got some people online right now. But um, yeah, you can join calls with other people, talk about scammers, um, share numbers uh, in the scammer numbers chat. And yeah, you can get a lot of useful information from there. And also if you're really dry for <laughs> scammer numbers, you can go to techscammersunited.com 
and you could go under the scammers tab and you can um, get scammers numbers this this way it's not loading <laughs> I guess that isn't great uh, the website stops loading when you're recording a video a fire truck drives by I think my internet might be messed up right now actually yeah my internet stopped working well oh wait no there it goes that's weird uh, I guess it's not loading right now. I might have to open up a new tab here. It might be just Google Chrome. <laughs> so let me open up a different web browser. Here for you guys, just so I can show you. So yeah, there we go. I don't know why Chrome was being like that, but if you go to techscammersgiant.com slash cameras, we're still trying to get more people on there. As you can see, the replies a little bit slow, but... Um, Rick roll scammers, Rick roll the scammers, or yeah, Rick roll the scammers. When he posts numbers, he always posts like three or four at a time. So it's definitely um, you guys should probably check out his profile if you guys want to um, get some numbers. See, he posts a, a good amount of numbers. So yeah, you could come on here, um, check it out. Uh, we're still growing the community and everything, but yeah, TechScammersUnited dot com definitely check it out and the discord but other than that um i hope you guys did enjoy this video i hope you found it uh, knowledgeable if you have any other questions that i didn't answer in this video please ask it but please if anyone asks something that i said in the video i'm not going to reply to it unless you state that you just didn't get what i was saying in the video because if someone asks a question and they just didn't watch the whole video that's their problem but if you have any other questions uh, that I didn't state in the video that I didn't talk about or maybe that I didn't talk about enough and you would just want some more information, definitely put it in the comment section below. But other than that, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.